uh, prepping um, uh, days or weeks or months shooting, um, I think uh, the director needs to have carefully written or committed to memory uh, notes about each and every scene which are absolutely imperative. You might call them must-have notes. And those notes um, are the things without which, concerning the things without which, if they are not included in the hurly-burly of shooting the scene, get left behind. Because um, I think to tie yourself down as a director to um, absolutely uh, unbreakable laws that you set yourself or rules that you set yourself about a scene or, or the script indeed altogether uh, is a mistake. You have to leave yourself, in my view, as much room as possible uh, for inspired second thoughts. Uh, and inspired second thoughts will only come when you uh, are faced with a rehearsal with the actors or the first time you, you look at the this, at this sets they've prepared for you and you realize that it's actually a, uh, an Egyptian brothel and not a palace <laughs> that they have prepared. And uh, either you've got to live with that or you have to find a way to use it. Um, so uh, those notes um, uh, that you make mentally or write down are uh, a beyond, w without which, without which, uh, this film will not work because that scene will not work. Lay yourself open to change the scene, however, if you think it will improve the entire film, because it may. In other words, don't leave hardly anything set in stone that you can, that you can use. Uh, within the parameters, again, of budget and, and schedule and all those things, which are disciplines you can't avoid. I think they usually come out of rehearsals. So if you've had rehearsals with the actors, which you almost certainly will have had, then you will notice that um, Fiona has a tendency to belch Somehow that has to be stopped. <laughs> um, obviously, that's a ridiculous example, but there are other tiny things which you want to watch. Uh, she flutters her eyelids, you know, uh, when in in the love scene, uh, and uh, or whatever, whatever it is that he or she does or they do, um, has to be where it didn't work in rehearsal, carefully noted, so it doesn't get repeated because you have ironed it out in the rehearsal, you hope, and then when you're actually on set and shooting with them, you um, are sure that they've got it and, and do it the way you want them to do it. Again, if they suddenly have a way of doing it better and come up to you and say, listen, I think if I, if I uh, tugged at my left earlobe, you know, uh, looking thoughtful, that would be good, and you can see that that would be good, then if it varies what you'd suggested, make sure you vary it, you know. Um, those are the kind of notes that I would make about performances. <laughs>